Hello, this is Mark from tradingform.com and welcome to this video on how to calculate the lot size for a fixed fractional position sizing system. Now in this video I'm going to explain how spot forex traders can set the exact correct lot size based on risking a set, a fixed percentage of their trading account. Now before I go any further I should just say that there is more information. There is a link below this video and on the screen at the moment. You can click on this link to get the more information and also to see how you can download the spreadsheet shown on the screen absolutely for free. Now most people find setting the lot size for forex trading complicated compared to other markets and it is complicated compared to other markets but it is not that complicated so I'm going to start from the beginning and I'm going to explain how we can get to the lot size. Now most people know that one pip is 0.0001 except for Japanese yen crosses where it is 0.01. Now what does this look like on the screen? got the euro US dollar on the screen now and we can see that a move of 50 pips is well within today's trading range got the hourly time frame on the screen so all our trades are the size of our trades is set out in pips 50 pip trade 100 pip trade 200 pip trade now the amount we want to risk per pip is calculated in lots and so one lot would be a gain of 10 of your account currency per pip. A mini lot, which are very popular these days, would be a gain of one of your account currency per pip. The only slight problem we have with this is that a lot varies by the currency pair that you're trading depending on the account currency. So the currency that your trading account is denominated in will affect how much a lot is worth. Now if this sounds a bit strange, it is a bit strange, but it's the way it's done and it is quite a simple way to, it's quite a simple thing to adjust for this. Now you need to know that a pip value is worked out by the second currency in a pair. Now a bit of terminology here, if you're trading the euro US dollar, the base currency is euros and the quote currency is US dollars. And the pip value is worked out by this second currency, the quote currency. So if you're trading the euro US dollar and you have an account denominated in US dollars, it is quite simple. And if you're trading one mini lot, your account, your trade goes up 100 pips, you would have made a profit of $100. This is nice and simple. Difficulty comes, or the slight complication at least, comes from when you're trading a different type of pair. Say that you are trading the US dollar, Japanese yen, the quote currency is now Japanese yen. And you will need to adjust for the rate, the difference, in the USD JPY rate to find out exactly how much you will stand to gain or lose per pip. Now if this sounds fairly complicated it isn't really and I'm going to explain exactly how you can calculate it using your either yourself or using this free spreadsheet which you can download. It is fairly comp it is fairly simple but I'm going to introduce another thing here, the average true range or ATR. Now I like to use the ATR, I mention it in most of my videos and I like the way that it adjusts for volatility and it means that we're trading slightly bigger or smaller positions depending on market volatility. And I'm going to use it in this demonstration. So I'm going to use an ATR and we're going to use a multiple of the ATR to set our stop loss. Now, stop loss will represent the maximum that we can lose in each trade. Now, we have a fraction of the account. 
our account size is $100,000 and I'm going to set for these example trades a risk of 1% of that. We're going to get the value per pip and then we're going to get the number of lots to trade. Okay, very simple. All we need to do is enter the values. Now we can get the average true range just simply going to the chart. I'm going to do a trade that is in on the daily time frame. So I want to know approximately what we have here for today's ATR and it's about 85 pips. I've got the value here of 85 pips. Now I want to risk a certain multiple of the ATR and I want to risk, to risk a multiple of three times the ATR. And that means our stop loss distance is 255 pips away from our entry price. Okay, nice and simple. We can enter that in our trade. I want to risk 1% of the account. We've got $100,000. So we're risking $1,000 on this trade. So we've got a stop loss of 255 pips an amount to risk of 1000. Now this is going to correspond to a value per pip of $3.92. And this is going to be for a, because we're trading here the Euro US dollar, the value per pip for your account currency is exactly the same because we're using the quote currency is the same as the account currency. So it's nice and simple. And finally, we need to calculate the number of lots to trade. So all we're going to do, we're talking, we've calculated this in mini lots, is just divide this value by 10. So the number of lots to trade to achieve this is 0.3. Nine. So we can enter this nice and simple 0.39, set our stop loss equivalent to 255 pips away from our current entry price and enter the trade. Okay, so it is nice and simple. If you're trading an account, you're trading a currency, your trading currency rather is US dollars and your quote currency is US dollars. It is nice and simple. What happens if you want to trade the USD JPY? Well, that's pretty easy as well. And we're going to calculate that here. Now, first of all, I need to know what the ATR for the Japanese yen is. So let's click on to Japanese yen. Have a look here that our ATR is just about one, which is equivalent to 100 pips. So I'm going to enter that here. Now this is going to correspond, I'm going to have the same ATR multiplier of 3. So our stop loss distance in this case is 300 pips. I'm risking exactly the same fraction of my account, 1%, and so I'm risking exactly $1,000. This time our value per pip is slightly lower because our stop loss distance is slightly greater which implies that at the current time there is more volatility in the USD JPY market. So we want to enter a slightly smaller trade to account for this. Now we need to adjust this value per pip to take account of the fact that we're not trading a JPY account. So how do we do this? Well, we can do this quite simply. Just find out the current price of the USD JPY. And then we need to multiply, dividing by 100 because of the thing with JPY crosses being 0 0.01 rather than 0 0.301. And we get to the value per pip of 3.86. We're gonna divide that by 10 and we can find out that we need to trade 0.39 lots and we will risk exactly $1,000 per trade. We can do exactly the same for USD CAD. This time, got a smaller ATR, so we've got a tighter 
stop loss, 210 points. We're risking exactly 1%. We're risking $1,000 and we've got a slightly higher value per pip. Because the USD and the CAD, the current rate, 1.3219, needs to be adjusted for. We're ending up with a value per pip that we need to trade of 6.29 and a number of lots, which is not far off double the, the size of our JPY trade. Now we need to be able to adjust, first of all, for the difference in volatility between these two markets. But secondly, for the fact that a position with a quote currency of Canadian dollars is effectively worth less because of the relative price at the moment between the US dollar and the Canadian dollar. So to get the same amount of risk, we need to significantly increase our lot size. So this spreadsheet is available as a free download. There's more information. I hope you found this video useful and helpful. And Please subscribe to this channel. There are loads more videos all about using spreadsheets to backtest trading strategies to analyze the financial markets. And for more information, please go to www.tradeinformed.com.